Hi, I'm Nathan Usher from Cummins, and today I'm going to walk you through the features of ADEPT, the electronic features that are the key elements of the Cummins X15 engine. These features are aimed at improving fuel economy and drivability. As the trucking industry strives to become more efficient, fuel economy is the one area where you, the driver, can make a difference. Our experience with X15 ADEPT in Australia to date is that fuel savings of up to 6% are achievable. Of course, this is dependent on the level of commitment from you, the professional transport operator. Let's look at Smart Coast first. To take advantage of this feature, the vehicle needs to be operated in cruise control. Smart Coast is a parameter that allows the vehicle to coast on moderate grades from 0 to 4%. When a coasting event occurs, the transmission's front section neutralises, allowing the engine to return to idle. The gear selection indicator will be a solid N indicating neutral. This will indicate that a coasting event is underway. The vehicle then coasts under its own momentum within a set speed range. At this point, you will notice the absence of vehicle engine noise. This will take some getting used to. However, there is no need for concern. This is a controlled event. Once the vehicle is outside this speed range, the transmission will automatically re-engage and supply power or engine braking as required. Any function that disengages the cruise control, for example, foot brake activation, will immediately disengage Smart Coast. To maximise the fuel savings benefits of Smart Coast, the driver needs to engage cruise control wherever it is practical to do so. Now let's demonstrate Smart Coast out on the road. So once we're out on the road and uh, cruising, we know driver has uh, no need to interact with the transmission, let the transmission do its job. Um, the only thing you really need to interact with uh, the cruise set and resume switches and the plus and minus switches to manage your road speed. It is important to note though, um, on a downhill, it's the driver who is still in control of the absolute vehicle speed. Um, it's not a fully automated system. Um, the Smart Coast will engage a gear and activate engine braking if the engine brakes are turned on. However, it won't activate service brakes, so the driver still has responsibility for overall vehicle speed management. So you can see the engine brakes activating there to try and maintain the set road speed. And then there's a coasting event there. We're actually coasting up a slight grade there once the vehicle slows down to below the uh, droop speed it then engages a gear and supplies engine power. No interaction from the driver on the foot pedals or the cruise control switches. So slight downhill grade here now and there's a coasting event now. Engine has gone back to idle, you can notice that the uh, engine noise has gone away. We're coasting downhill you will notice um, that the coasting speed will go over your maximum road speed setting slightly um, within a um, set parameter and then at that point uh, the transmission will re-engage your gear and activate the engine braking um, if you've got the engine brake switch turned on. And I'm going to set the cruise at 70 here for the 70 km an hour zone. So cruise is active there engine braking on in case we uh, need that if we override um, in a coasting event and the vehicle will maintain the speed through town here and if we get the opportunity to get a coasting event um, that will happen autonomously without any input from the driver and there's a coasting event there you can see only quickly though coasting event happened and then the speed overran my set point uh, engaged a gear and engaged engine braking and then now we're back to coasting. So angel, engine's idling, maintaining our road speed by using the momentum stored in the vehicle. 
um, all the time, depending on the grade and the weight of the vehicle. Um, the Smart Torque 2 is active in the background with no driver interaction, managing the torque uh, required to get the job done. So in undulating country, um, the maximum engine torque um, will be available to maintain road speed, um, but when we're on the flats and coasting, um, Smart Torque 2 will determine uh, what torque setting the engine is set at um, so to achieve the maximum fuel economy. So yeah, as I said before, we're out on the road. Um, I encourage you to embrace the technology um, and enjoy the experience. They, uh, you know, the uh, X15 with the depth, they are quite fun to drive and um, challenge yourself to get the best fuel economy that you possibly can. Um, I'm sure all of you as professional drivers um, strive every day to um, be as efficient and as effective in your role when you're out on the road every day.